My name is Ignacio Anaya, and I am creating this video for my CM7 class. And I'm going to start off by talking about um, the agencies I completed my hours for. Uh, Dakota Eco Garden, Grid Alternatives, and the Discovery Center. At Dakota Eco Garden, um, I helped build a uh, shelter that was uh, made up of a 10x10 10 10 tent and a, with a base of uh, pallets and plywood, but uh, also surrounded by um, tarps, which helped uh, conserve uh, the uh, heat and coolness inside of the tent. And these were constructed with uh, framing and 2x4s, which helped support the framing so that it wouldn't move side to side. And in the Discovery Center, um, I actually built a uh, brick planner. And this was made so that no water would uh, spill away from the tree and there wouldn't be a muddy mess around the tree. This was just to keep the area clean. And I used mortar to um, put the bricks together. And at Good Alternatives, um, I worked on uh, connecting wires and other things to solar panels and passing uh, tools up to the people that were up on the roof, working on the on installing the uh, solar panels. At Dakota Eco Gardens, I also helped paint an awning, or also known as porch cover, as well as stain a plywood flooring with a water resistant stain to prevent any water damage to the flooring, as well as uh, roof work placing gutter covers to avoid any leaves jamming into the gutters and uh, preventing any uh, walk water uh, back up. I have somewhat of a construction background or experience in construction. Um, over the summers, I've worked with my dad in construction um, using various tools um, and different kinds of materials. So working at Dakota Eco Garden and uh, using chop saws to cut 2x4s and 2x6s um, was very easy for me um, because I was... I knew how to use the tools and I had a lot of experience with them. The three most important lessons I learned from my service learning experience was safety, setting brick, and the importance of volunteering. So each day I would go volunteer, the supervisors always assured we had the proper PPE. If it was either wearing safety glasses, gloves, wearing a hard hat, or a vest. Every supervisor always was aware that students were wearing the appropriate PPE. And at the Discovery Center is where I learned to set brick. Setting brick was not difficult at all, but I learned that each brick had to be soaked in water in order for the mortar to really stick to the brick and its base. The area where the brick would be placed also had to be soaked in water so it can have the same reaction. This was one of the um, construction lessons I learned from my experience in service learning. Um, during my experience in service learning, I also learned that volunteering is really appreciated by these agencies. And this is because these organizations are nonprofit organizations. So for example, at Dakota Eco Garden, many of the homeless would pass by thanking us for our help and hard work, showing me how thankful they were for our volunteering. And that concludes my service learning video. For the rest of the video, I will provide pictures and videos of work that I finished and completed at these different organizations. Thank you.
There it is.